The first job I'm going to tackle is uh, the rear floor and the front of the rear bulkhead and uh, I've got uh, two new panels to do that. There's a rear floor section and a front bulkhead section. I'm going to cut the bulkhead one down a little bit. I'm not going to go right across the car. I'm just going to take the part which uh, has the reinforcing for the spring hanger. So I'm going to cut the panels off the car and weld in the new ones and then when I've done that uh, I shall then carry on uh, with repairing the back and the wheel arch. But I will, to start with, to get access, take out the shock absorber mount and I'm also going to cut away a fair amount of the outer sill so that I can uh, get access onto the inside. Uh, but um, I'm going to keep the inner sill in so that it will give me a reference for the floor panel to put up to. So when I've, uh, when I've got the panels cut out and the new panel is in place ready to weld, I'll give another update. As I thought, uh, this side of the car is quite serious stuff and uh, I think we're into major midget surgery. Uh, you can see I've removed the rear part of the driver's side floor, the front of the rear bulkhead and uh, I've exposed the, the front spring mount, which is this thing here. Um, if we go around, looking at the back, I've taken part of the uh, uh, back away, but uh, I've left this in because obviously um, it's supporting, still supporting the spring mount. So I, when I get the floor in and I've got some support on that, then I'll cut this back to about here and fit a whole new panel there. Uh, the slight change of plan from what I originally uh, proposed to do. Uh, I'm not going to fit the floor first. I'm now going to concentrate on this area here. Um, I'm going to reinstate the side of the wheel arch and the boot floor to give me some reference points for when I'm fitting all this. Uh, and then when I've done that, I'll finally make good the rear wheel arch. To do all of that, um, I've got quite a lot of panels. Uh, this is the, uh, boot the rear of the uh, floor, which uh, I bought that one from Ashley Hinton Panels. Uh, I bought uh, the front of the rear bulkhead, again from Ashley Hinton Panels. The shock absorber mount is a bought panel, but uh, the rest of them, all the little bits and pieces that are going to uh, uh, reinstate the rear wheel arch and the back of the bulkhead, uh, I've manufactured. So, right, uh, I'll um, weld the small pieces in to the back of the wheel arch and make good that and then when I've done that I'll fix the floor and the front of the bulkhead but before I weld it I'll do another update. So the side of the wheel arch and uh, the boot floor panels are now in and I have uh, put the rest of the panels as a trial fit prior to uh, welding them. This is from the underside and uh, just keep the car over. You'll see this is what it looks like from inside the car. The rear bulkhead here all ready to weld in. I'm going to seam weld it down here plug welds on both sides, plug weld to the floor, plug welds up the side and then obviously seam weld all the way around the panel itself. Then when we change the sill, the inner sill, then there will be more plug welds from the inner sill to the bottom of the floor and up there. So, okay, right, I'm going to now start the welding process. Okay so the panels are now all welded in and I've cleaned back the welds where necessary. Um, I 
I've also fitted the shock absorber mount and I've done that in the same way as I did it the previous time. I've actually used some bolts to actually pull, pull the panel hard down to the boot floor and to the rear bulkhead and then I've spot welded it uh, as well. And there are, there are sort of four seam welds to the boot floor as well. If I turn the car over now and show the inside, you can see that the uh, floor is in along with the uh, front of the uh, rear bulkhead and its reinforcing part around the spring hanger. Uh, I've uh, also put in the panel to the uh, bottom of the rear wheel arch. Uh, that's done in pretty good, almost seamless that. And I've made a panel here uh, to complete the box section. So all in all this part of the car now is finished so it's on to the next bit which uh, is going to be the front floor.